What up? You're listening to 2 Live Radio on WOUB. I'm your host, Young V The Problem. And it's your girl, Tata. What's going on, everybody? Good to see y'all back again. What's up, Tata? How you, how you doing? I'm okay. I'm getting ready for the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> you are, because you, um, so it's Saturday. Uh, we, re- we record on Saturday today, and Tata came and scooped me up, like, you mm-hmm. know, being a real G like she is. That's how I do. It and is. she had the Mariah Carey All I Want for Christmas. Yes, you, I but, did. That was the cut. I think it's too early still, but, you know. That's the just... month, what do you mean? The month of December after Thanksgiving is when people put up their man, Christmas trees I know, and stuff. but it's still, like, chill, man. Like No, there is no chill. It's, it's Christmas. It's time for love. It's Christmas for... ain't just till December 25th. And December. that's fine, but we are, we are just what two weeks out? I guess maybe. Okay, a it's time to I get ready. For, you could be. I yeah, love I the holidays. Be, yeah, I could be. What but anyway, we got we got a special guest today. Don't we, we do. We have Ashley Osborne in the hey. building, ladies and gentlemen. What up? What up? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ashley, for those of you guys who don't go to OU and you don't know about Ashley, tell the people a little bit about yourself. She okay. out here. She's out here. <laughs> well, my name is Ashley Osborne, simply underscore AL on Twitter. Okay, shout yourself out already. <laughs> get them plugs out. Uh, get them thirst traps. <laughs> get them. Pick them up. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, yeah, I'm a junior, third year junior at Ohio University. Mm-hmm. My major is strategic communication in the Scripps School of Journalism. I'm from Middletown, Ohio, which is hey. half, yeah. I didn't know y'all three. were so oh deep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a lot of. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I did not know that you were from Middletown. I thought you was from New York. For real? Yeah. I don't know why. I really thought you was from New York or something. Wow. I just went to Middletown for the first time. Maybe that's time, just like... your swag then, because I never guessed nobody else from Middletown was from I've never heard of Middletown until, like, till I got here. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Same for real. Here. I, went, I drove through it from Dayton, and then yeah, I was like, oh, Middletown. Oh, Same here. Like... <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's halfway between Dayton and Cincinnati mm-hmm. in okay. the middle. Okay. okay. <laughs> Middletown. So, but tell yeah. the people, what, what orgs are you in? Involved in. Tell um, us. Uh, let's see. Orgs I'm involved in on campus. I support all the orgs, but I just started my that's own student org. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. Yeah. <laughs> Tell the people about your org. Okay. <laughs> um, Amplify Communication. It's a new PR org, public relations org on campus. We cater to the students and artists, entrepreneurs who are looking to build their brand and sort of have start getting some events going on about what they're doing. We try and collaborate with the other production mm-hmm. orgs and, you know, just try to help everybody out. Mm-hmm. Just sort of like an outlet for people to mm-hmm. go to and gain some exposure. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, we cater to, like, lifestyle, fashion, music, entertainment, wow. everything like that. Because I felt like there was not that here at OU. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, this is what I want to go into later, like, mm-hmm. when I'm done with so school. So is this, like, a hub? Would you describe it as kind of being, like, a place for people maybe who are more artsy and they, like, think, like, maybe you said the fashion, you said the music. So people mm-hmm. who kind of into the arts, because I would agree with you, I don't think, like, the arts is as supported here on, as in, like, other campuses, so you think that would be something y'all would be about, or? Yes, most definitely. That's that's where my passion lies, so, okay. yeah, that's and, what I want to work with. That's and it's girl. just brought, because we have, what do we have, the Ohio University Association of Black Journalists, uh-huh. and then what else is catered to something in that realm? I don't, I can't think of. Well, there's like little segments and stuff. Hip-hop yeah, Congress, hip hop like Congress. Yeah. There's like um, there's you know the modeling club. There's spaces yeah, and yeah. everything like that. But I feel like everything is so separate, mm-hmm. and there's nothing. I feel I don't know how they do how they deal with people who want to like take their own individual route, mm-hmm. but. This, that's something that we're trying to like work on. Like, if you have a fashion line, we would help. We would help like put together a show or uh-huh. put together, get you in places, connect you with people to get like your product out there, your okay. your line out there. So if okay. I had this hot new mixtape coming out, which I may have come out, y'all don't know that. But <laughs> if I had that coming out, y'all would be like, would y'all be able to support me, or how would that work? Like, yeah. Would y'all, like, okay. Like we. Let's say, if you had, like, a a mixtape coming out, we could plan, like, a whole um, event, like, a mixtape listening Word. party for uh-huh. you. No, yeah. No, look out for that R&B mixtape. Oh. Valentine's Day. It's coming. Oh, gosh. It's coming. So what about, what about, I guess this is more on a professional level. Like, say, 
if I wanted to get some sort of career started for myself and I needed management or PR, a representative, just maybe one, would you guys cater to that or what? I would say... <laughs> you know, like Lena Lipcare and like um, Renowned Clothing. Like those are a couple like student um, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that have to get their stuff out some type of way. So... Do you think that you would get to that eventually, or yeah, have actually, about that? we work with Lana Lift Care. Like okay. that's one of that's one of our first clients, and um, we just had actually we just had her relaunch party last night. It was right. a relaunch slash networking mixer called yes, Ohio. That's Connect. how I was getting to next. Tell us yeah. about Ohio Connect. That was <laughs> cool. go, by the way. It was great. I felt like um, all the people that were there really got something out of that event, and I didn't hear any like bad things about it everyone was telling me like mm -hmm. yeah that was really good we have a lot of like hard-working and motivated ambitious entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who are students at Ohio University and it was just cool to see like not even all the student entrepreneurs but even just like the um, the couple that we had who were actually mm -hmm. sponsors but not only th did those people show up mm -hmm. but there were also people who came like just came along with a friend and they realized like oh I could mm -hmm. be out here networking for myself too yeah. so yeah it was really nice I, I enjoyed it a lot we did like some giveaways and mm -hmm. uh, we had people use social media to tweet their answers okay. so like it was kind of a way to get everybody engaged uh -huh. and, and gain some followers yeah like it was fun it was a good oh, time okay. <laughs> are y'all how often y'all gonna do that is that gonna be like a once a year like how often y'all gonna do the like the networking mixer type of thing we're going to have, we're planning to have one like once every semester, I feel like towards the end of the semester. So the next one that we have, we'll be on the lookout for it in April. Okay. Right. Yeah. And so you guys have been hearing us promoting about the Dean's List Tour, and we got connected with that through Ashley. So first, tell everybody what the Dean's List Tour is about and how you got involved. <laughs> so you were telling me something about, what's his name? Scott Norris. Right? Scott Morris. Morris. <laughs> I keep doing that. Scott Morris. Okay, Scott Morris, and he's in New York. Yes. Okay, so tell us how that works, and then tell us how, you know. Okay, tell so us the story. I spent the summer, this past summer, in New York City, and while I was out there, of course, I was just meeting people, networking with people in the field, because that is, like, the mecca for entertainment mm -hmm. and everything such like that, but, um... So I got connected through him. Actually, um, one of his friends is an artist. She she paints like sneakers and she paints and mm -hmm. stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. And she was looking for PR and like I had it. She con she connected with me through Twitter because okay. like my bio is kind of like. I was in New York, so I put my location in New York. So oh, but I had that was so yeah, smart. That's, that's real smart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, so I so she reached out to me looking to like do some to like work with me. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I'm only gonna be here until the end of the summer. Then like we started talking, we met up, we went to Starbucks, and she thought she was telling me about her work, and I was telling her about like the things that I'm interested mm -hmm. in. She was like, You need to meet my friend Nigel, which mm -hmm. is not, which is Scott Morris's real name, and I was like, uh -huh. Cause Scott Morris is He's an entertainer, so okay. yeah, that's like his entertain okay. entertainment uh -huh. name. Yeah, N okay. Nigel is cute too. That's really <laughs> yeah, cute. I like the name Nigel yeah, too. That's, that's sexy. But Whatever. yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but we we um we met. Of course, he called me up. And then he was like, uh, and I started telling him about myself. He was like, yo, I want you to come to mm -hmm. the auditions. And I was like, yeah, sure, I can do that. So mm -hmm. I went to the auditions in uh, Midtown on the west side of Manhattan in this, like, cool, this super cool building. And there was, like, so many people. When I tell y'all, the auditions were, like, hours long. There were multiple oh. rooms. And you it was the right? Yes. Okay. There was the Dean's List Tour for Out There. Yeah. And oh. the Dean's List Tour Out There, what it is, um, like I said, all these people come and audition, uh -huh. then they build a roster of like 40 entertainers. Okay. And you can be like, you can be a dancer, singer, you can do spoken word, you can do any type of yeah. talent as long as it's entertaining. And we saw here hula hoops and stuff. Yes, so. exactly. We're going to get like, to that next. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring, it brings, it just attracts a lot of different people. But mm -hmm. they built, they ended up uh, picking a list of about 40 acts. Mm -hmm. And um, what they do is they hit, like, a bunch of different, there's a bunch of different colleges, universities out there. So they hit them on the East Coast, a lot in the city. They went to, I think, Hampton and, like, some schools in upstate New York. Uh -huh. And uh, this year, actually, and then he was like, he asked me if I wanted to be the rep at Ohio for Ohio University. Uh -huh. And I was like, 
I've never done anything yeah, that like was, this. You were scared. Yeah, but I was <laughs> like, well, I mean, this is what I want to do, so I might yeah. as well take a leap of faith and just do mm-hmm. it and hope everything goes right. So and it did. It, it has been <laughs> so far. Yeah. yeah. Trying. Flexing. <laughs> so that's how I got to Ohio University. Yes. So our concert is going to be March 29th, right? Mm-hmm. And so, to live radio, we were there um, for the auditions. And <laughs> we were interviewing people, and I, we were sitting in the um, auditions, and it was it was something else. Because mm-hmm. I know for, my, or for BSCPB, like, we usually do Battle of the MCs. And this year, we were talking about, um, we had an e-board meeting, and we were talking about how there aren't many, in, and we thought there weren't that many MCs anymore. Yeah. But it's so many. Oh, and <laughs> it wasn't just MCs from the multicultural community either. It was people that, I, it was just, it was singers, it was uh, guitar, it was full blown bands. Band. Full blown Sex. bands. Like that was knocking our socks off, literally. Yeah. That's how loud it was. Yeah. It was a girl doing hula hoop tricks. It was, what else was unique? Somebody played us and came in with a silly poem and laughed and walked out. Um, That was hilarious. I I actually had to walk out of that one. Um, I was like, what? Yeah, that was kind of wild. But. (laughs) They yellow in it. Yeah, it was right. it was it was really really good. I had a good time at the dance with the that's, audition. That's I really did. But my and, thing is with Athens though, it ain't like a whole lot of venues for like stuff for like entertainment and all that. Like it's always like big programs and yeah. like a consistent spot like you can mm-hmm. hit up like on Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess you know we wouldn't really know who out there rapping. You know. Yeah. You right about that. You know, I don't even really know about my mixtape yet, and it's going to be fire. Oh, boy, please. We don't know nothing. Boy, please. Boy, please. <laughs> so, it's going to be out in the summer. Oh, how many people? <laughs> yeah, please, don't even don't even entertain him. Um, I'm just happy to have a sister in the building, finally, hey. because we, we always got we all these brothers. We haven't had a female guest yet. Yes, That's we got right. so you many brothers. Ask our yes, first female shout out guest. To, to women and feminism. Um, <laughs> And so, anyway. back to the dance list tour. How many people, how many, do you know how many acts came? There were about 35 Ooh. who came to audition. And you have to pick how many? We have to pick, like, no more than five, pretty much. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, some good acts. It was, like, po- oh, it was people been, doing monologues. There yeah. was poetry that was yes. awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, We're going to figure it out. We're going to work it out. We're going to try to get everybody, yeah. most people in the mix, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it, even if you weren't doing, like, a whole full music set, mm-hmm. like, we can probably try and fit, like, some spoken word and some mm-hmm. intermissions or something like mm-hmm. that in that's, between. That's cool. that, yeah, would that would be, be nice. people that shine. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 they're really talented people. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So, that be on the lookout for the Dean's List Tour. That is March 29th. Yes, and yes, we're going to... Yes. Take a quick music break, and we'll be right back and uh, with more. <laughs> <laughs> I was falling we'll good. <laughs> <laughs> you are live with Two Live Radio, and we are back with Ashley, and we got some more stuff to talk about. So, post. <laughs> <laughs> so, Why? What? We, I was trying to sound real, like, uh, smooth, like, like... People really gonna think this is blues and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> they really gonna be like, oh, I'm really listening to this. Listen, the, listen, I'm about, to be, I'm about to be cutting a demo tape so I can get this internship and get me a job. I gotta, exactly. I gotta be versatile. You, you gotta sound like whoever. And I next week it. I'm gonna be country and yeah. get some Reba. I'm gonna get real down and dirty <laughs> next week. Um... But uh, I respect <laughs> so, it. Uh, Ashley, it. what are your post grad plans? I know you're only a junior, but what are your plans for after you graduate? Tata's done five different voices. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, after I graduate, um, I probably plan to get a job in probably working for like a PR agency. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to work like with an in-house company mm-hmm. or like work with an actual agency yet. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I'll do that for a couple years. Okay. And I think while I'm working, I want to go to grad school to earn my MBA because uh, eventually, get, yeah. Get yeah. Paper. Get we were, paper. We were just talking about that the other day. Me and Ash, I was setting up something for BSCPB and I looked in the Women's Center office 
and I saw Ashley sitting there, and I went in there. Shout out and to we the was, Women's Center. Yeah, shout, shout out to, to the please women's go to the Women's Center. center. I'm gonna get you in there once. <laughs> and get but... you some domestic violence ribbons to put on your stuff. <laughs> and some and, mirrors to look at And your some mirrors face. that says, this is what a feminist looks like. I have one of those. <laughs> and so we were talking about, OU has a Master of Business, business Administration program that is one year, one year. in and out. Oh, one work? year. Yes. Dang. Oh, you do get the move on the master's yes. program. On the low. Oh, like, yeah. Like, yeah. And I was looking it up. Unfortunately for me, I'm trying to study abroad like in, in um, like the middle of May. And the program starts June 2nd. Uh, but it is only a year. And that brings me um, to my next question for both of you. Um, if you were to start a business, what type of business would it be? Chicken shop. <laughs> Ashley. I would definitely. What? What's start... wrong with my? Why y'all laughing at my Ashley. business proposal? Ashley. Like, anyway. dang. Because that's not that's not real. Yo, I are you make, being serious? I mean, in certain like in Athens, maybe. Let's I would give him start. some time yeah, to think about his. <laughs> Let's give him some time to think about his answer. Uh, what about you? I would start, of course, a PR agency, a PR firm. Catering to the industry and fields mm-hmm. that I'm interested in. Okay. So definitely. Okay. That's my plan. Answer now. <laughs> no, I'll give you some more time. Okay. Do not. <laughs> um, this is not a business, but I, I would like to start um, a nonprofit organization for the inner city uh, youth of Cleveland. Right now, we have something um, in the works, getting up off the ground. Now we're gonna start when we go on break. It's called URAP, which stands for Urban Renaissance Achievement Program. It's me. Kelly and Derek and Alexis and Devante and Mo. It's a lot of people. Well, not a lot of people. It's probably like seven, eight of us or something like that. But we're going to go around. You know, we're trying to get people, get more multicultural students to come to OU. That's the goal mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. But we're also um, just going to help with like for right now, we're going to go back and forth and like help with college applications and um, FAFSA and stuff like that but right now we're trying to get into OU when we get bigger and we're out of school and we try to get a building and all that we're going to um, do like a whole program so they can get acquainted with college culture so we might have them reading some type of literature and you know just just trying to get them more you know familiar I guess yeah. and um, yeah I, but I love the kids huh? I, do. Love the I do I, I just did KS for Kwanzaa <laughs> and I did the dance section and it wore me out it wore me out to all them first graders, but it was for a good cause because they do need to learn about Kwanzaa. Yeah. Everybody need to learn about Kwanzaa because, honestly, I'm not ashamed to say that I thought that Kwanzaa stemmed from purely something African. I thought it was an African holiday, but it's, it's, it's African American. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it, I guess it confused me with the kente cloth and, and the other stuff yeah. that was on the table. <laughs> but um, where was I going? Oh. Businesses, I don't know, but I would like to start one as soon as I get out of school. So, young people, please tell me what what do you have a need for? Because I want to know where I can start a business at, like as far as what to tailor it to. You know what I'm saying? To the youth, so you yeah. want a business. I feel like in Cleveland we have a lot of like new trendy clothing places and stuff like that. I don't really want to go that way. I don't really want to go to food either because I can't really throw down like that. Yeah. <laughs> but I do want to start something because it's not that much money in radio. So I would like to do something at the same Kids, time. I don't know. I think teenagers would need like some, like a venue or something, like somewhere where a they center. can go. Yeah, ah. something like that, like a community center, somewhere where they can do stuff. Okay, that's work. still close to the nonprofit, though. I'm talking about some money for myself. I um, mean, maybe you charge them. Maybe you oh, can you know, charge the kids. You can charge them like a dollar or something. <laughs> A week, a month, yeah. or something. Cleveland has um, new, like, really, really nice uh, clubs now, too. We went to a club the other uh, last weekend. It looked like a Miami club in there. It was beautiful. Oh, you can. In Cleveland, be... Miami club. I'm trying to bring listen, LeBron back. It was like. He ain't coming. <laughs> please, he ain't coming. Please. Y'all it, need to stop. It was like white curtains and lights and girls dancing with bottles, doing performances. And they was cooking till about 1230. Chicken, okay? When I left, my hair oh, smelled oh, like chicken. Dang, wow. that's one of those spots. Oh, okay, we, food, we, we went to one of the bars to try to order a drink. They basically told us, oh, no, this this bar is for VIP and for drinks that are like Ace of Spades. And y'all trying to bring LeBron back. Look at y'all trying to up y'all taste after he left y'all. Y'all uh, stepped y'all game up. Okay. Anyway. After he left. We're Let's, not going to talk about that right no, now? No, we're not. What is oh, your business idea? Did, are business, we going to get back to yeah, that? Yeah, we can get back to it. We can get, get back, back to, to it. Get back to it then. 
Um, ultimately, I want to like start a, a kind of a nonprofit, more like a service like organization mm-hmm. that's like you know I want to consult like different like I guess community service organizations, community centers on how they can better their like you know organization, how they can be mm-hmm. more effective at, at that, and then just going around like. I don't know. My one of my dreams is to go around speaking to like young people and people who you know kind of younger than my college students mm-hmm. and kind of you know trying to give them the game. You know, okay. let them know what's up and yeah, that's all. Just want to inspire. That's all. Okay. So I'm gonna try to make like some type of business out of it, but I, it's not about money for me though. It's just kind of just love for it. Okay. So speaking of inspiration, <laughs> let's have a moment of silence for Nelson Mandela. Okay. That was like the quickest moment I said, of silence. I said history. a moment. I, 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 I said a moment. I, 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 like, I was holding like, right. my breath for about 30. I was holding my breath listen, for 30 Listen, I said a moment. So nobody could. Listen, the, listen, the people get the gesture, okay? Now, you wanted to say some words on, on Nelson Mandela's behalf. Um, I, I would like to, to say some words on Nelson Mandela's Please. behalf. I kind of talked about this yesterday on my Instagram. You know, I posted because I wanted Wow, you were on Instagram? Yeah, it was a Valerian sighting on Instagram. Wow, it was crazy. You dusted that right yeah, on Yeah, okay. Just real quick. Yeah, and close the box back up and lock it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you said. Yep. <laughs> But anyway, um, I wore like I got a little Nelson Mandela crew neck that I got when I was in New York a few years back, and um, but I, when I bought it, I, it was just dope to me. And I knew that Mandela, like you know, I know he represented something good, but I didn't really know what he was about. And so later on, I started reading more about him. But I was just learn, I just learned how powerful like he was because of how like he was able to forgive like his enemies, which mm-hmm. was crazy. Like all the people who, mm-hmm. like pretty much all the white man, like uh, in a, apartheid, like he, yeah. he forgave all of them and was like, yo, like it ain't about me and my anger. It's about like getting this country to where it need to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, so that's like just a lesson for me. Like that's something I always took. Like that's mm-hmm. kind of the love I want to have in my heart for other people. But mm-hmm. it, I don't have it right now. Um, but yeah. I, I like I said, that it's either, a, but it's that is a dream. It is. It's yeah, an aspiration. It's a you know, it really is. It form. takes a really, yeah. um, a, a, yeah, a strong person. They gotta have all their marbles in the row. You yes. know, they kind of, yeah. they just kind of real at humble, peace. real at peace. All yes. the real G's leaving. It's up to us now, yo. Like, we got it. All though. the real G's leaving, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> also, Paul Walker. Now we're not gonna show him. Man. I mean, we we are not putting him in the same breath. As I'm Nelson. not. Listen, I'm not putting him in the same. Because they was doing that in the Instagram, you know. I'm just saying he you passed know? too. Oh yeah. And he the was rest, fine. Many rest in peace. Yeah, and that's so ironic how how he went on out too. It is, isn't it? And he was like at a like community service event. Yeah, yeah. he wasn't even out partying and kicking it or nothing. Yes. Yeah. And, so. and speaking of fine white men, I don't know <laughs> how are we go. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're Listen, talking about because like <laughs> my man crush Monday. I know it's all the way uh, Saturday right now. But my man, Chris Monday, was oh, David God. Beckham. That man is crazy. Mm, yeah. But he's married. I'm not on no Olivia Pope type, but I'm just saying he was he was fine. He had one. Because we always ask the boys what were their what was their woman crush Wednesday. So what who who was fine to you? Who's a fine man to you? A man crush Monday. Yeah. Mm. There's so many. I know. I know, but pick pick two. Pick two. Pick two. If I had to pick two. Don't be shy if it's me. Like, oh, we oh grown. boy! We grown. You don't boy. Have to be shy. Oh, let's see. Hey, think about it. Go, go. You can go old. You know, you can go actors. You can go sports. You can go music. Oh my gosh! Well, I just have to shout out Drake because that's the love of my Drake. Life. I know he's not really that. He's not he, eye candy or nothing. Not necessarily, but something is getting very cute about Drake. Something Drake is, is going to come up. He is. He, he, he needs to get something together. He needs to because I don't want no little pud. Like, yeah. you know, I don't want no teddy bear like that. Hey, you know? I'm along. surprised though because. I didn't know light skinned girls was going for other light skinned dudes. I, I mean, as I've gotten we, older, we talked I talked about this before. Uh, like, I don't necessarily have a type type like that anymore, as far as just purely physical. I guess I mm-hmm. uh, I have never dated a light skinned guy. No, I have not. So I don't know what is that you light skinned that all the way. I you am. hate you hate shock black people. You well, you like it? Oh, no, 
need to watch my dark skin. She no. She can like whatever <laughs> color she I don't wants. I don't not like dark skin men. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just, like that's just what you prefer. I mean I like anything. People no. if if they just cute. Okay. But I, I do like all the men investment <laughs> in the best men holiday. Even Tay Diggs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that wrong? I like oh, all the no. women in Best Man Holiday. They all they, everybody they looks so coat. good. Especially D along. Good yes. guy. Yeah. Uh, no, but yeah. I would impress it's a question that was posed by New York Times. I was looking at um something on there. I was looking at a whole bunch of questions from their whatever they have online. And they asked that. And I'm I'm thinking like my first thing in my head was like, Yeah, that's not a question to me. It ain't especially for like as far as the big networks go, like you yeah. go on ABC, NBC, CBS, it's all white people. I feel like, you know? but that's um, all that's watching it too, though. Yeah, most black people too, but I, it's still most. I feel like Scandal was the the biggest thing that we've had for somebody on prime time and yeah. being black and a woman. Although, yes, she is uh, being with the a married man or whatever, <laughs> but I think. Olivia Pope is the first um, black woman character that shows layers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everything else is, is you know, More perpetuates a lot. Yeah, it perpetuates yeah. a lot of stereotypes. And yeah. we got reality TV that is bad Terrible. for both black women and <laughs> white women. But Everybody the, black. But the thing <laughs> is about with, with black women is people are always going to look at that and say, oh, this is how they act. All of them mm-hmm. act like this. White women, you know, they on Bad Girls Club or whatever, and they say, oh, it's just those white girls that act like that. Yeah. So that's the issue. I don't, people often have a problem with the reality shows being on and saying they're showing this false, whatever. No, obviously, if they're doing it, it's something that does occur, but it's not what all black people do. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not enough a representation of other types of people. My mm-hmm. thing is, it's not even that TV's too white. It's just that, like, the year is now. It's the 2013. Like, it's like, why do we still have to have this discussion? Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, but we do. You, I mean, but you would think, like, especially people our age would be like, I could see a black doctor, somebody be black being a doctor, being a lawyer, or being Isn't a Isn't it weird? A Isn't that whole dynamic weird still that yeah. we're all the way down to 2013 yeah. and we still don't have a lot of black characters that show positive stuff or yeah. that have layers. You know, Olivia Pope has layers. She is, you know, she's very successful in her career. She works hard. She's very um, put together. Yeah, one of her flaws might be sleeping with married men. <laughs> <laughs> but she is, you know, multi-dynamic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, dimensional, rather. It's but, only a few actors that get to do those type of roles, too, right. which is crazy. Yeah. Like, especially is. among black men. It's only mm. like four or five. Who do you can only be one. You can be an athlete. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Only like Denzel and Will Smith get like colorless roles. Oh, like, Denzel and Will Smith. Smith. Thank that's you for bringing them brothers up. Monday. Oh, Will, Den- but Will Smith. Oh. That, that's timeless. Yes. Denzel is timeless. Yes. Uh, he along is timeless. Yes, she is. She <laughs> is. I always say that. But I'm just saying, Denzel and Will, come on now, you can't front on that. I'm not. But gonna, they're great men. I know them both. We go. I wish we could play Word. some get jiggy with it on this music <laughs> no, break, no, but, no, but 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 we're not gonna do that. We, <laughs> you sure I won't want to hit? No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna pay like, some homage to Jay Z for his for his birthday that just yeah, passed. Shout out okay. to Hove. Shout out to Hove and his uh, his vegan twenty two day vegan. Day vegan. <laughs> everybody was wondering. I don't know why that's a story. Everybody but, was but, wondering what was going on. I, I mean, I'm not that pressed about it. Right. I mean. Beyonce put a picture up and everybody went crazy yeah. about it. Okay, let them people do what yeah, they I got to do. I could put a picture up of her toe and she would get <laughs> She has put a picture of her toe. Like, she, blue has, <laughs> she has actually. So, But I Man. think on this music break, we're going to pay some homage to Jay-Z. So keep it locked where you got it. We in 2 Live Radio. Welcome back to 2 Live Radio. Um, so, Ashley, you was telling us before you were uh, you were in New York, you know, the Big Apple, which we got, what, 8, 10 million people, something like that. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. It's, but it, most, a lot of those people are, like, chasing dreams and all that stuff. Like, mm-hmm. so I, I, have a, I have a question for you that, like, one of my best friends, he, when he was in New York, he was thinking about how, like, it's, all, it's like a big rat race there. So, in your opinion, do you think it's talent or hard work that gets you... Uh, mm. to where you want to be in life. I think it's most definitely both. You have to have a good balance of... Or is it luck? Is luck involved? I think um, I think you have to have the talent, but then you also have to have like the drive. You have to be ambitious to want to like 
perfect your talent and share it with other people because the more people you expose yourself to, the better chances that you have of making something out of it because people are going to be able to refer to you like if they need something and um, people will want to put you on. People who are in higher positions than you, like if they see you grinding, trying to do what you can mm-hmm. do, they're going to help. They're going to reach out and help to you. If you, um, you have to know how to build and have healthy relationships mm-hmm. with people as well. So that's something you got to have a lot of self-confidence and be humble, but also be hungry. You got to mm-hmm. be humble and hungry. So, yeah. 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 I think it's definitely both. I think some, you should utilize both if you have the capacity to do so. Right. Um, if you, if you want to maximize your chances, but, um, if I had to pick, I would say the people who have talent might not have to work as hard. And the people who who uh, don't have as much talent, yeah, work a bit. yeah, then they have to work really yeah. hard. Yeah. So, but, but I I think in, I, my th- I'm gonna play devil's advocate real quick because okay. I mean think of like okay, in example, New York or L. A. They both get a, a huge populations of people, and a lot of those people are chasing like maybe like acting, dancing, yeah. mm-hmm. all these things where it's like very few people make it. So like you don't think like those people like probably what. We could be talking about what fifty thousand, a hundred thousand mm-hmm. different actors, dancers, singers, whatever. You don't think they doing all this stuff, but they still not like making it or still like popping they're not, off. They not meeting the they right people. They could be good. They, they might could not. Be really, it's a lot of talented people it's, in the world. It's really what I've come to find out. It really is about who you know. And who that's, knows you? That's yeah, all you gotta. Yeah. That's somebody who is not that that good in something. If if they know the right person to go straight to to knock out. Okay, I gotta get past this person, this person, this mm-hmm. person. If they can go right to the head honcho and say, "Okay, this is what I do. Can you give me a chance, or can you put me on, or can you tell your people to relax so I can get through?" You know, yeah. it's a, it's really about who you know and your networking. I think, yeah. I think when I just kind of met the right people, I kind of was, you know, you can't be a horrible, you can't be horrible at whatever you do either. <laughs> But I'm saying, if you, you got a little bit of hard work in you or, or some talent and you know the right person, then you can get there. But a place like L.A. or like in New York, it's, it's, it's really heavily saturated. So mm-hmm. you really have to be one in a million and stick out amongst all of those people. Yeah, I so that's a little harder. Going to New York and I, and I would. I would start where you at. I think if you're doing something, you can just do it where you at and see yeah. if, it, if it pop there. If it don't pop there, maybe. Mm-hmm. LA might not. You can't. You can't handle yeah. Athens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You right about that. So, what was your opinion on that? My opinion is uh, kind of like I was saying before. I think like I think a lot of luck plays into it, and I wouldn't say call it luck because I don't mm-hmm. necessarily believe like in luck. But I think it's might. It's just kind of like a uh, things just fall in fall into place. Like mm-hmm. you kind of the person that it need to be doing what you're supposed to do, mm-hmm. and so like I think that plays a huge role because. I don't know, it's just a lot of people doing the thing, same thing as you're doing, regardless of what it is. Mm-hmm. And if you're fortunate enough to be somebody who's actually doing it at a high level, I think that's like, I think of basketball usually when I think of that, because there's so mm-hmm. many people that play basketball, you would never mm-hmm. know. And the NBA is only made up of, what, 300 people, 300 right. dudes? Like, mm-hmm. like it's crazy. So it's, a lot of that, I think, is like, chance things just kind of fall in place with those dudes. Cause, What's meant to be. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So that's my opinion, though. Um. Okay, guys. If you could live out, you know, your ultimate, ultimate dream, like if you could go no higher, this is where you want to end, and this would be, this would be the perfect, you know, way to complete your life and how you feel your, per- anything like that, what would it be? What would you be doing all the way at the top of the ladder? I'll let Miss Ashley go first. Okay. You know? Honestly, at the top of the ladder, I would be chilling with my family and having people <laughs> working for me. Uh-huh. Okay, but before you get there, what do you have to do? Uh, What's your last yeah. step before you chilling? But um, well, that's a good one. Not- that's no. That's crazy. <laughs> um, I mean, I would give other people the opportunity, job opportunities. Oh, okay. There we go. There we mm-hmm. go. You making money? You're making yourself money and making me money mm-hmm. in the process. But I mean, of course, to get to that level, you have to pay your dues with anything that you do. So, I would just, I would have to say, um, to I feel like to get at that level, you have to either have a lot of money or have a lot of connections or have a lot of both. So, um, before, of course, before I'm chilling, I'm going to be working hard nonstop Mm -hmm. and just continue grinding, just expanding on everything that I do. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, 
I guess that would be like the last place that I'm at before I'm like, I can't do that. I can only do so. I can't do this any longer. Like it's time right. for me to give this to someone else or give it right. to other people. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, giving back. I guess that would be it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at the point where I'm like, I can just I'm overflowing, so I'm mm-hmm. spreading it to everybody else. So yeah. <sighs> I think uh, at the top of the ladder because I plan on doing. Radio, because radio is not, that's not the top of the line. I'm trying to walk y'all through the steps. Let's, let's I want to do, I want to do radio and because I want to start in radio because radio is more so not about you. It's about, depending on what type of radio that you do. And I want to do something in, in, in the urban setting with, you know, r and hip hop so I can be close to the community mm-hmm. and the children. So I can, you know, have my influence. You and them kids. You yes. and them kids. That's, they are important. <laughs> so I, I want to be able to have an influence on them and help them out. And then I can be more about myself and go to entertainment. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to take a route like like Lala, Angela Yee. You know, I'm trying to go that way. So then I might go to so you your own show on VH1 eventually. I would like to. Yes. Um, I would like to go to entertainment. You know, I might have to go up through like Girl Code or something, Best Week yeah, Ever or something yeah. like that. That's always where I go. Or I would, I would love to do 106 in Park. Um, I can see you on there. Sure, yes. I would love to do 106. Um, And then maybe something. I, I don't, everybody always say, you should act. And that's not my style. I, not people Why people don't think Stilo? that I'm easily embarrassed, but I am. And it makes me feel weird. I don't want to act, although I do a lot. Like with projects and stuff, I always got to be the first one to do something like that. But I want to do entertainment. And then I don't know if a talk show would be my last, because I want to do a talk show before I get old. You know, I still want to be out there. I want to be younger than Wendy Williams doing a talk show. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how all these celebrities that already have a, a great platform mm-hmm. how they just get in these talk shows let somebody else get their shine on <laughs> y'all already all the way up in it you know what i'm yeah, saying right. why are y'all getting talk shows sit down. chill out <laughs> chill out and then yeah then i'm gonna go on and lay it on down and lay it on and, down and be yes, somewhere no no i'm saying? just saying like, it's time to chill over? Oh, it's time relax. to chill to, uh, I'm, it's time beach. to travel the world yes, again world. Traveling. I want to do that. I want to travel before I get too old, though, so I can kick it. You know, I don't want to travel with a with a flower shirt on and a hat. So you want to be like Stella? You yeah, I don't. I don't want to have sunscreen on my nose uh, and ugly glasses uh, on with khaki okay. shorts. I want to be out there like Sex in the City. You oh, know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we need a black Sex in the City. Wouldn't we, that be amazing? Look. That me and my friends, my thought, friends are gonna be in New York. Oh, oh boy, please! That is so... I, I should smack your glasses off. I'm saying that. Uh, single. I thought that was a show though. Single lady. Uh, a black sex in the city. How amazing would that, that would be? That would be fun. You know, you would think it'd be like like girlfriends would, if all of them had money and stuff like uh-huh. that. But I'm trying to think who would be you know a perfect cast for that. I need I need to make a pilot for that. I want to be in it. You I just gave your idea away to like. I know to all... to all ten of our uh, listeners. <laughs> I was going to say 30, but maybe I was just <laughs> No, no, no. I, I ain't going to play us like that. We, we the show got more than 30. Don't even, don't even try us. But, uh, okay, now tell us about yourself. My, um... Where I would be if I'm like, if I really feel like I made it, like, I want to be like, for real, I, I, I see myself similar to like a, a Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela, Malcolm X. Like, okay. Somebody, so how do you hope really, to get there? Do oh, you want to go into politics at all? No, I, I started, it's funny, I started out as a politics major, a political science major okay. uh, here, but I like, I started learning how dirty politics was. Yes. Like, I was like, I ain't trying to. And you a dirty person, but you're not that kind of dirty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's a different dirty. <laughs> yeah. It's lame. Like, Levels, it's levels, it's levels, okay. I'm not, uh uh-uh. uh. You ain't that type they of They like dirty, double yeah. dog, like, they, yeah, they, they no white down. collar dirty. Yeah. You, you, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know where you're about to go with that. Um, okay. But uh, I don't know, I just always, like, I told my dad when I was in high school, like, I always wanted to be seen as, like, mm-hmm. kind of a dude who, like, kind of a man of the people type of person, mm-hmm. somebody who, who represents the interests of like my community and people like that and so i don't know like how i'm gonna get there like only god knows honestly i can't give you the step by step i tell tell people i feel like oh i do Uh, (laughs) but uh but no i uh i tell people all the time like there ain't like really no real major in the life of service and and Uh just being by the by the time i'm 65 70 it's like dang like this is a real like did he really like Change Doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, you know, we'll Impacted. see. Yeah. A lot of these yeah. majors in college. I'm, they might are... shoot me for all this, for the record. Okay. okay. You know, they killed all the mother cats. Well, yeah. I'll I come say something at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
Um, but <laughs> she said she but, wouldn't though. On, on, yeah. on oh my see goodness! It. Oh it. my! Like, I forgot late. the cameras were yeah, in. Yeah, cameras only. Shout out to the team. Get out studio. Get out studio. Jordan, shout out to him. Yeah. Grinding for us. But uh, but a lot of these majors are cookie cutter. Like they are. It's just to get our money. They are. I feel to, like college. I'll, like I'm so thankful for the BSS I'm program about to go off because. And, like, Cause you can just choose your path. You it is all this stuff is cookie cutter. But with the Bachelor of Specialized Studies program, you can choose stuff that you really want to study, and uh, some a lot of stuff doesn't prepare you for what you're about to do anyway. Nah. And a lot of stuff you forget. But the it's stuff that I remember dumb. was stuff about. Um, I really appreciated my sociology classes because you know that was I mean that that heavily relates to me. I yeah, guess because yeah. and you get into I'm it the in disadvantaged, yeah. but you know. Social classes, my women's gender studies classes, and my African American studies classes. All that other stuff that go along with your major. Most of the stuff you need to have in field experience anyway. So they're just trying to take our money. It's, but I do appreciate I, the college experience aside it. from yeah. the academics. Because you learn so much you about life. You, you learn yeah. so much about yourself, yeah. too. Yeah. You, you turn Push into yourself. a whole, you evolve. Yeah. Yes, you you still have some evolve. of the same characteristics, but you evolve so much and learn so yeah. much just, just dealing better. with different types of people and people your same color but from different walks. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, all the orgs and stuff, I appreciate it. I love it. But every, every new documentary I watch <laughs> about college makes me more and more pissed off like it's just yeah. messed up yo yeah. like it's mm-hmm. real messed up because like i was watching this one documentary and they they put in it how like student loans how like they can like they can oh just God, give those right. out they the only loans that they just give out to people without checking like your background so mm-hmm. you get like people who get sixty thousand dollars in student loan debt but only because like the government was just handing out free money. Like, yeah. you know, people just gonna take and it. That's because they want you to be in debt and they want you to fail. Yeah. Because we know the people who have student loans mostly are who? Uh do they have a darker hue, Tata? <laughs> I would assume so. Oh, okay. Now I ain't read no statistics, oh. but it just makes sense to oh, me. Okay. You All know, right. we, we there is a disparity, you know, and yeah. I, I think that, you know, the poor, it, it's just a structural I got, inequality. I got a question for both of y'all, though, since we on this subject, kind of. We asked in one of my sociology classes, we asked, why are Asians, like, <laughs> why are they so way more successful than, like, black people or Mexican people? And even, why is that? maybe even white people sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. you know, they are an- another group that was... Certain like, Asian class. It ain't yeah, all that, oh, yeah, yeah. They, they are another group that that was um, deculturalized when it came to America, much like the American Indians and the black people and whoever yeah. else ain't white. <laughs> but... <laughs> excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I almost spit on my name. Um <laughs> Everybody else who ain't white. Like... But, um, I, I think their uh, certain Asian cultures are are different than ours. Their their education system, you know, they they going to school all year round. They getting introduced but, uh, to science like and American technology Asians, and though, math. Like, some of them been here for like generations now. So you saying that stuff's getting passed down, or what yeah, are you saying? I guess. Yeah. A shot. I, don't know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, maybe they There's learned China it from their people. Everywhere. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Every country has a Chinatown. There's one in Toronto. One in Costa Rica. One in uh, Philly. Everywhere. Oh, so one in Cleveland. One in Chicago. So, but, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I would. My only answer would be because their education system is set up differently. They know numbers. A lot different. We are lazy here. One thing they do, though, that black people don't do, and which I'm glad, like, Ashley's doing her thing with this organization, is that she, uh, she's, like, kind of trying to pull everybody's resources together like black people like asian people kind of stick together with that they kind yeah. of help each other come up come yeah everybody. you can see yeah, that yeah, you can see that here on campus like yeah. like black people yeah we we gravitate toward each other beca- because we are a small small group here and you all you almost don't have a choice every black person i see i'm waving and smiling <laughs> but i i mean i i um associate with students who aren't black too a lot yeah and i feel like the asian students they won't even talk to you. They won't smile at you. They won't wink at you. They won't hold the dough for you. I've heard both sides. I've heard Asian students tell me they like really intimidated when they come here. So that's why they I have one Chinese friend. I met her in Spanish class. <laughs> she was so sweet. I, I know. Three, but they American. So mm-hmm. I don't think that counts. Uh, <laughs> freshman year, I had a friend named Gucci, actually. Gucci! Gucci, hey. Hey. Gucci he was from, uh, yeah, he was from <laughs> Japan. His name was, uh, his name was Gucci Hayuchi. 
and that's a dope man. Yeah, and he used to wear. He should rap. He used to wear. Yeah. Yeah. Name. He, listen, Gucci, we, used, we made him say Gucci man got long money, and he say that's a what the. Say. <laughs> so, um, but he used to wear Timberlands. He used to have a do rag they on, so a pro model. Oh my god! No, they they stay They're fitted. So urban. Yeah. They stay fitted. But but my best friend went to China. I tell you why they fit it. Ain't it way cheaper? It's counterfeit. It's counterfeit. Yes. <laughs> oh, they love counterfeit you know, Versace. Hey, yeah. it look good on them though. <laughs> I can't yeah, tell the difference. I ain't never had no Versace, so yeah. I can't call y'all. <laughs> Get it till I can afford it. I ain't getting no fake nothing. Exactly. I, if, if you can't afford it, that means you're not supposed you to have it. Need it. And I ain't gonna say I ain't knocking people who got fake stuff because I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit too oh, blunt. I'm sorry. Listen, yeah. that that must mean it, it's time to go. <laughs> are, are we out of time? I, I think we fresh out. I think we fresh out. Ashley, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having you, me. You have been one of my favorite sisters. Black women rocking. We know, appreciate we you. As <laughs> <laughs> I'm Monique, I see her. So we, we appreciate, appreciate you. you. We love you. <laughs> Hug yourself. <laughs> tell yourself, I am. <laughs> Touch your neighbor and tell her who you are. Now you're taking it somewhere else. <laughs> Well, thank y'all for listening again this week. And Two Live Radio will be back next week with the Christmas edition. Yeah, I'm so excited. About it. I got all the music already together, so don't worry about I'm it. I'm wearing my Santa hat, though. I'm wearing a Christmas sweater. Okay. All right. Okay. Y'all thank- have a great rest of y'all weekend. Yeah, thank you guys for listening. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Woo! All right. And that's a wrap.